I read not the whole book, to be fair, but I didn't think that it would be something that I would be interested in. And then my friend uh, Carrie Fisher gave Clint Eastwood my home phone number. And he made me an offer I couldn't refuse. It's very hard to object to her. She's an extremely good actress and very versatile and, and the perfect time in life, perfect age and everything for it. I think Clint at the time was 65. And I was soon to be 45, and I was playing a 45-year-old woman, but the studio felt I was too old to play this character. And so Clint made a, I gather, case for me, which I was glad about. And I would certainly have made a case for him. I didn't know anything about Iowa. I just cared that it was America. And I really understood who she was. It was a, a war bride in my neighborhood in New Jersey who lived up the street from us. And her name was Nucci. And her husband was a tall, blonde GI who came home and brought this exotic creature. And she would say, Chrissy, take out the garbage. <laughs> and I just was in love with her. I loved the way she talked and moved and spoke. It's my experience that uh, the really great directors don't let you feel <laughs> when they're directing you or, or how, or you don't really know. At the end of the shoot, you think, boy, I, I got to do whatever I wanted on that. And you don't realize that you were subtly manipulated to do the things, I guess, that he wanted in this part. But I felt completely free. Clint uh, prefers that you bring it with you when you come, and he trusts that that will happen. Uh, once he hires you, he believes in you. I remember that after the first take, and we printed the rehearsal and moved to the close-up, and, and Meryl sort of looked, like, confused, and she said to the group of us, is this how it always is? <laughs> and and we all said, yeah, this is how it always is. This is, you, you want, might want to get used to it because we very seldom have multiple takes and unless you say you want another one, probably not going to have another one. After about three days, she said, I love this way of shooting. This is so much fun. I don't have to work up to anything. I can start at the top. I can start right at the highest note. So when they, we would be rehearsing, they would be moving the lights and fixing the lights because often he'd say, well, that, that, that felt pretty good. Let's, uh, let's just move on. <laughs> you know? But he had a date on the golf course about 4 p.m. and he made it out there many, many days. <laughs> Well, I wouldn't want to take you away from what you're doing. No, I was just going to have some iced tea and then uh, split the atom, but that can wait. <laughs>